Good morning. It's John again. I play some Immaculate Grid, playing Grid 523 this morning, and this will be in honor of Mo Vaughn, who had a 523 slugging percentage. He works for three teams. He won an MVP. We'll see if we can work him in. I'm going to share my screen, and we'll roll right into it. Um, yesterday, I played three grids and wasn't really that great on them, but uh, lost one of them, but this one just took forever. I, I looked my uh, time on it. It was like uh, for the, the rarity round, it ended up being about 16 minutes. <laughs> like, whoa, where did the time go there? Uh, anyway, let's just go uh, do the thing. Hit reset, hit go, and now we're going. All right. Um, move on, did not play shortstop. I don't think at any point, so we won't put him there. Um, and Dalton Simmons played shortstop very, very well. Eddie Murray played for both teams. Jose Guillen will work over here. Tony Womack, it's the Pirates and Yankees. Mike Mucina, well, he's a low score. Should have saved him. And we'll just go Jeter. Clemente certainly hit 300. Ripken hit 300 in that MVP season. Uh, and Garcia Parra. Luckily, I don't have to write the whole name out in the time round. All right, what was that, 53 seconds? There are 1,630 options. That's a big number. Um, cool. Let's see here. Jeter, Mucina... Of course, Garrett Cole was going to be the most popular, not Tony Womack. <laughs> Dave Parker up here at 12%. He did not play for the Angels that long. Reggie Jackson, who only played for the Orioles for one season, wrote about it in my book. So I had the most popular for three, four, five of them. All right. We'll hit reset on that. We'll do a stop, share, reshare. And we won't hit refresh because that wouldn't make any sense because that was grid 520. All right. So let's see here. Which direction should I start? Over here, I'm going to go with Terry Forster again. He was surprisingly high in the one I played yesterday. He does hit both these teams. And this time he's sub one, sub point one. Um, down here, Bobby Shantz, he's an old favorite, gold glove winner, point two, got a guy, Raleigh Hemsley here, famous all-star catcher, not that famous, um, Baltimore and and the Angels. I can't say Anaheim or LA or it's, I just say the Angels. Um oh let's see. I do know that Bobby Gritch might be a popular one there. Um that's uh that is a Francisco Rodriguez combination. Um I don't think... Oh, you know who does work? Norm Seaburn. Keeping it old school. All right, off to a decent start here. Uh, let's see. 300 batting average in a season with any time at shortstop. There's 1,600 options. Um, but, uh... Doby Moore. All right, solid score. And then, I'm trying to think, 300 average in a season. I think I did have a guy, Joe Crisp, for the uh, St. Louis Browns. Which I, yeah, I, I kind of remember because, you know, Missouri has good barbecue, better known in Kansas City, and that's where the Browns were, and then the Browns moved to Baltimore. 
crisp is kind of a thing you might associate. I don't know. It's a it's a loose mnemonic device. All right. Um, if we're looking at people who are shortstops or not, that's saying Jeter just occupies a ton of time. A Rod will work. He played at least one game with the Yankees at shortstop. Um, then I think Volpe's probably going to be up there. Gregarious is probably going to be up there. Um, Tony Fernandez preceded Jeter for like a year or two uh, with the Yankees, kind of in between Blue Jays stints. Um, I want to say Spike Owen might work. Um, of course, go Tony Kubek or Phil Rizzuto. Um, trying to see what uh, trying to think of someone who would predate even that. Um, and of course, it's just like I don't know who who got in there for an inning or two in the eighties. I don't actually know who who was the. Was there like a primary shortstop in the 80s? Is that where I should be using Spike Owen? I'm going to try it. All right. He goes sub one. But uh, not going to get a go score on this one. Um, Let's see. And then go Jim Fregosi from the early days of the Angels. That takes you for a while. That takes you into the 70s. Like 60s and 70s. Um, I guess he was traded for Nolan Ryan. So it's it's probably 60s up through about 71 or so, or something like that. Um, remainder of the 70s, I'm not as sure about it. I know Gritch played a little bit of shortstop with Baltimore. Um, but they eventually just had him, I think they just had him play second and sucked it up with Bellinger's bat. Um, Gary DeSarcina, of course, in the 90s, David Eckstein in 0205 time frame. Um, I think Figgins probably got over there for a little bit. Figgins played all over the place. Um, not move on. I don't think I'm gonna play move on on this one. That'd be fun to watch though. Um, and I'm also thinking, uh, let's see, for the for the Pirates, I, I'm not remembering if I had a really good one there. Um, of course, they didn't have a lot of 300 hitters for you know large stretches of of time while I was growing up. Your Brian Giles will work though. Um, so that that's a possible answer. I'm not sure on Jason Bay if he ever hit 300 with Pittsburgh or at all. Um, McCutcheon will certainly work. Uh, going back ways, um, I I think Stargell gets a 300 season in there somewhere. Um, and certainly you get Clemente, which I already got. Uh, uh, Madlock one, Bill Madlock one four. Uh. Batting titles, and I think a couple of them were with Pittsburgh. Bonds will work. Um, I think Andy Van Slyke will work. What I'm not, what I'm not thinking of is if I had a guy who was just only Pittsburgh, ten games. Yeah, I'm not remembering that. I don't remember the mnemonic I might have had at one point. Um, so let's go, or we could go look back a little bit ways. Um, Obviously, Honus Wagner works. He's probably too popular. Um, Archie Vaughn might be a little sneaky. I mean, he's a he's a great hitter. He's played in the 30s. Paul Wainer, Lloyd Wainer will also work. Um, don't think there's going to be a Frank Thomas one. Sure, if Kevin Young maybe hit three hundred. Uh, Jay Bell in his time. Jason Kendall will certainly work. All right, I've hit a bunch of people who may or who almost certainly work. 
We'll go with Archibon. All right, still sub one. All right, and then let's close here with the Angels. And again, just trying to think, is there anyone who kind of pops in and out? Like, I don't know if did, did Howie Kendrick spend any time at shortstop when he was younger? Um, again, I mentioned Figgins as a possible candidate. Uh, D. Sarcina is is a pretty safe bet there. I don't know if Filardi played a little shortstop. Seems like Troy Gloss was always too stocky to ever be playing shortstop. Um, some other fun ones. Donnie Bichette ever get over there? That'd be fun. Um, seems like DCRC is going to be a little like a five percenter. And I want to go lower than that. I don't have confidence in Gritch by that point because it was later in his career that he moved to Anaheim. Um, Not sure about uh, Doug descends. I might be playing two sides. The odds are one of those kind of maybes. Got a little time over at shortstop, and I might be playing it too safe, but you know, I'll just go with what I know. I'll go with Derek Gary D. Sarcina for five. I was exactly right. So I had a one for the first eight, and then uh, five percent. Just out of curiosity, I never do it with these, but Ibar was a name I glossed over. Gritch, I was right about Figgins. Troy Gloss did get a little shortstop time. I thought he was just too bulky to to really be over at shortstop. Orlando Cabrera, I could have gotten. Spike Owen would also have worked here, so I guess he's an angel. I think he's an angel expo Yankee combo there, and. Is that Cozart? That, that's like when the Angels acquired Cozart, they already had, he was a shortstop, but they already had Simmons. So I remember that acquisition. It didn't make a ton of sense to me because that was like a lot of its value was playing a, a solid shortstop. Uh, Gene Segura had one game, 2012, before he was traded for Zach Cranky. I, I think I did know that. I don't think I was going to be able to confidently say it was that shortstop. All right. Um, well, we will call it there. Thank you so much for playing along with me, and I'll be back at it over the weekend. All right now. Peace.